When the Lord God made earth and heaven, when no shrub of the field was yet on earth and no grasses of the field had yet sprouted, because the Lord God had not sent rain upon the earth and there was no man to till the soil, but a flow would well up from the ground and water the whole surface of the earth. The Lord God formed man from the dust of the earth. He blew into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. The Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east and placed there the man whom he had formed. And from the ground the Lord God caused to grow every tree that was pleasing to the sight and good for food with the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and bad. A river issues from Eden to water the garden and it then divides and becomes four branches. The name of the first is Pishon, the one that winds through the whole land of Havilah, where the gold is. The gold of that land is good. The vellum is there, lapis lazuli. The name of the second river is Gihon, the one that winds through the whole land of Cush. The name of the third river is Tigris, the one that flows east of Ashur. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. The Lord God took the man and placed him in the Garden of Eden to till it and to tend it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you are free to eat. But as for the tree of knowledge of good and bad, you must not eat of it. For as soon as you eat of it, you shall die. The Lord God said, It's not good for man to be alone. I'll make a fitting helper for him. And the Lord God formed out of the earth all the wild beasts and all the birds of the sky and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, to the birds of the sky, to the wild beasts. But for Adam, no fitting helper was found. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep upon the man, and while he slept, he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh at that spot. And the Lord God fashioned the rib that he had taken from the man into a woman. And he brought her to the man. And the man said, This one, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for from man she was taken. Hence, a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, so that they become one flesh. <laughs>